Martin Jennings, and I'm a lung and sleep specialist. And this is Anthony Turton, who's a sleep scientist. Um, we just wanted to demonstrate to you what's involved in having a sleep study. So sometimes having a sleep study can be a bit anxiety provoking. We just wanted to demonstrate what we do and how, how it runs. The reason we're doing the sleep study is to have a look at the quality of your sleep and see if there's any underlying sleep problems with the view that we may be able to help you or treat those to improve the quality of sleep and ultimately feel better during the day. Very good, so to uh, get an idea of your sleep overnight, we'll be measuring a bunch of things um, and you'll get to see in a moment uh, me set up button with all the wires and equipment. Uh, basically what we're trying to do overnight is measure your sleep and your breathing and limb movements in particular. Uh, to do that we've got a little recording device um, that will record all night. It's not actively monitored overnight but we download it the following morning and we can then go through and have that analysed so that we can uh, work out if there's anything that we need to attend to with regards to your sleep. Very good. Very well, good. Should we get going and you can link me up to a sleep study and see how I go. Sounds good, let's give it a crack. Okay. Alright, so here we are. About to be set up for my sleep study. Now I've been asked to come along in loose fitting clothes and something that I might sleep in and all the leads and monitors can be put on easily. So I just got my, my old t-shirt here that I sleep in and, and, a, and a pair of shorts and I think we're ready to go. Excellent, let's get started uh, putting some gear on. Thank you. So here I am, all ready for my sleep study. I've been wired up um, by Anthony and had all the electrodes put on. Um, this has only taken about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, everything's just placed on my skin um, and, and a bit in the hair. Certainly nothing stuck into the skin, nothing's hurt, and it all feels quite comfortable. It feels a bit unusual, but comfortable. So um, I'm ready to go home now and go to sleep. You're probably gonna think, how on earth am I gonna sleep with all of this stuff on? And the answer is, is that although most people don't get the best night's sleep they've ever had in their life, people always sleep long enough to get enough information from so that we can learn exactly what's going on in their sleep. So it's really important to try not to worry if you don't feel like you're getting a good sleep. And most people actually sleep for a lot longer than they think they did. So if you think you're having, not having a very good sleep, the best thing to do is just lie there, just try and relax as much as possible, and just be reassured that although this is not the best night's sleep, we're going to get enough information to be able to help you determine is there an underlying problem with your sleep and so we can know what to do about it. So I'm off now. I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm not going to go out for dinner. I'm going to go straight home, have a relaxing night, maybe a bit of TV, watch, have a bit of a read and go to sleep. And tomorrow morning, I'll take all these wires off and return them. And then I'll look forward to finding out my results uh, with regards to how my sleep went. So, good luck with it. Yeah.